What's up guys? So you know I've been trying new stuff with this day trading thing, trading with a small account, 2,500 bucks. Pretty much have lost about $5,000 this quarter, but I am definitely learning a lot and I knew there was gonna be a little bit of market entry. I kind of wanna discuss the things that I've been trying out over literally the last two days that have kind of been working, changing my mindset a little bit and I think that might help you. If you are a beginner like me or you're trying to learn this stuff, Pretty much, I, I like using supply and demand, but over the last maybe two weeks or so, I find myself holding on to trades too long. And I don't know if that's listening to what other people say when they're like, you know, that beginners try and get out too early, right? They hold their losers too long and they hold their winners too short. And I was having a lot of big winners and a lot of small winners. I was having a lot of small winners and then a big loser. And I thought, Maybe that could have been a little bit more of the problem. So I've been trying to hold them and then boom, I would hold it through a reverse and it would just, <laughs> I'd be so mad at myself because I'd have good profit and then it wouldn't work out. So like going into this week, I pretty much said to myself, I'm just going to work on just the entry, right? Just getting in, getting in with the right contract size and then locking in profits and getting out. And then as I develop that, like good entries, then I'm going to worry about like holding for a really long and being more efficient and getting my risk to reward up. I figure if I can keep my stop losses really, really tight and just work on entries, I'm going to lose less money because I'm not going to hold too long because I am pretty good at my stop losses. But most of my losses have been, you know, I'm up 10% and then I'm, I've heard like, don't be a dick for the clear, for the tick, you know, like just trying to get to the, like the next level or the next zone I have drawn out and then boom, it reverses. So that's really the context that I wanted to go in and it's worked the last two days. Definitely left money on the table, but didn't take any losses and I think my entries were really, really good. The first entry that I wanna talk about was on Friday the 11th and here's kind of a picture of Friday the 11th and this was mostly the overnight session. All right, so it starts on the 10th all the way up and we can see it came down, this demand was already drawn. I drew this dotted line beforehand, before going into the session. This solid red was, was here before it got to there as well. And I had drawn that off of a level up here. So that was just a key level that I wanted to look at. I'm not trading in the off hours, okay? But I definitely think it's good for context. Yes, volume is low and things like that. Once we came into Friday, we saw a really, really huge jump up into supply out of demand. So that's kind of what I'm looking for first. I'm looking for you know a rally into supply and then confirmation of sellers taking hold and then it pulling back out. So it came here and pretty much from this time here, it's 6.20 in the morning until market open, we started to see a little bit of a downtrend as it was working its way out of supply. So I knew that if it continued that when the market when the market opened, I was going to jump in and I was gonna have a really, really tight stop loss. I pretty much got in right as the market opened, okay? And I guess this is kind of like scalping. I don't know like how short you have to hold it for it to be considered a scalp, but I, here was my plan. My entry was to take the shot that this was really gonna open up and pull down which is also like kind of what's been going on. The market trend has been down and my stop loss was gonna be right here where this uh, red, green, red, green, we could see that that kind of topped out right there at 13.751.75. That was gonna be my stop loss. So I was taking my risk from pretty much 7.31 up to 7.50, all right? I got in and my goal was just enter, see what's going on with the markets or see what's going on with this candle. So I got in with one contract. I've been doing two. I got in for one contract just to focus me. I, I don't know where I read that, but it was like, someone talked about like, just get your feet wet, get in, and then you could start to evaluate. So I got in and then it just, the volume just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. I added another contract when this candle started. It kept pushing, it kept pushing, it kept pushing. When it consolidated here, I sold off one of my contracts. I still had one more. So I locked in profits right there. On this next red candle, I entered a third contract. So now I'm holding two and it just kept going, it kept going, it kept going. As soon as this came up, it started to bounce back up and I said to myself, I think that's enough for me. When it came back down again, I got out of my full position. This was a 58% gainer for me. Now it wasn't a full 58% on my initial play. 
this initial contract actually was higher than 58%, but this was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, about 35 minutes. So just about 10 o'clock, I was done with that trade. And I actually anticipated not being in for this long, right? But it was such heavy volume. And like I said, when it got to here, I got out and that was fine for me. And the beautiful thing with messing this early in the morning is I was done for the day. It was Friday, I closed my computer. I literally did not look at my computer again until the end of the day. So we can see the end of the day was pretty much here going into the weekend. So I kinda had the same plan going into today, Monday, which turned out to be a crazy day. Once again, I was in and out quick. I'll pull this up. Over the weekend session, here were the uh, zones that I had drawn. I'm actually gonna invalidate this one in a minute and get rid of it when I draw my zones for tomorrow. But it kind of just chopped around here the whole weekend, nothing really to see here. As we entered the wee hours of the morning, five o'clock in the morning, we see we bounced up. And like I said, this was, I knew this was gonna be invalidated for me because it's already chopped around so much in this zone before it's touched a bunch of times. So I was not thinking it was gonna be uh, any sort of demand. But once it hit that, I was seeing if it was gonna be part of a supply and we saw it break down here. Now this kind of goes against my supply and demand entry. So like I said, I'm trying new things. I, I, I want to start learning the markets as I get more screen time. And essentially what I saw was a little bit, and I don't know if this actually is it, right? Traders, leave me alone. I'm, I'm just learning, I'm full transparency trying to be vulnerable here. I really know that I don't know that much. I saw this awesome candle down, still low volume, but after hours. And then what I saw was a little bit of a pennant forming. Started to climb out, but kind of topped around here. Once I got to here at nine o'clock in the morning, I said, if we don't really come above here, this is what I was thinking to myself, by market open, if we don't come above here, I have a good feeling that this might be that pennant that I think, and I think that it might break out, uh, break down to the downside after we get out of there. And this was one of those where the market opened once again. So here's 9.30. This was the last candle right before the market opened. It broke my trend line. I said, I'm going for it. My stop was gonna be above the body of this candle. So here's that last candle right before the market opened. When it opened, it actually started pushing first. So I didn't enter right at the bell. It started pushing first and it came right up and touched my trend line. And then we really started, I was watching the tape and just red, 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 red. Sellers were really trying to take control. So once it broke down below this body, I entered, all right? With a stop loss once again being right here at my, at my trend line that I had drawn beforehand, it came down. Then once we got in, it came back down to here. It bounced all the way. It was, this candle was freaking crazy. It came down, hit here, bounced back up. I thought I was gonna get stopped out and it came back again. And once it came back down again, boom, I closed. I got out of this one for about 6%. But in both cases, you know, I, I, I made a right entry plan. My exits, I don't know if my exits were right, but at least I followed a plan on my entry. This was just one contract because I wasn't as confident as on Friday. And then we could see what happened. If I, This would be a prime example of when I would have held too long and then I would have got stopped out. Now this isn't exactly a supply and demand entry where I would have been looking to hold it long, but I did want to take a, a little piece of this downtrend at the, to, finish the, to finish the night, just like we did the day before. Finish this off, saw a little bit of a pennant forming, saw it break out, I'm like, I'm gonna enter, and this was a scalp for, like I said, under five minutes, is that a scalp? You tell me, tell me in the comments below. When do I gotta get out? Like. If I hold it for this amount of time, it's no longer a scalp. Let me know. And then, really, this is part of the first time I'm kind of looking at this uh, day today. It was kind of all over the place. I heard about it through all my friends and in the Discord. I will be drawing a new supply right here. So that's going to become a new supply. Like I said, this zone's going to get invalidated. If you want to see all the zones and stuff, I draw them, post them, and give my pre-morning plan every single morning inside the Discord. That'll be the first link down in the description below. Let me know if you've tried this, like just focusing on one piece or... Tell me if I'm doing this all wrong and I should be definitely thinking about my entry and my target and I'm shooting myself in the foot. Please let me know, guys. I appreciate all the feedback, especially as somebody that's been learning. I can take it. You can call me a donkey. That's fine. I'll catch you guys on the next video.